Foundation C, this building that's behind us is uh, is truly a culmination of many years of efforts. Uh, most of you remember Dr. Steve Miller, who's now retired. Um, this was something that he took on as a, as a do or die project. And uh, he didn't die, but he almost didn't do either. And so Brett came along and inherited this project as well. So so uh, we, we have to recognize Brett's efforts and uh, and also Mike Killen's efforts in helping get this this uh, building and facility going. Um, what I will tell you is it's, it's a state-of-the-art facility. Um, given that the door is not open behind me, you can't see the 1940s, 50s vintage equipment that's in there. Um, vintage equipment or uh, state-of-the-art equipment, uh, that standard still, or that statement is still true, guys. Um, really, seat cleaning hasn't changed for a long, long time. We use air to separate the light materials. We use screens to separate by seat size. So, so when you walk in and you say, wow, brand new piece, brand new building, it's beautiful. And we've got a, you know, a 80 year old piece of equipment in there. It still works. It does a great job. Um, Foundation C, uh, by its very nature, you know, most of you guys understand what a foundation is. That's what you put under a house or a, or a building that you kind of expect to stand for a very long time. It's the basis for that building. Foundation seed is the basis for further seed production and eventually commercial crop production. Um, you know, if you're going to have a good house or a good building, it's got to be high quality. You want to get it, get it set right. Foundation seed is just that. So this building was built. Um, the design, how the, how the materials flow through it was, uh, was done with the idea that perfection was, 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 uh, was the goal, okay? Um, perfection, that's pretty tough. But uh, with, with it, well, what you do is, why, why, why is perfection important, okay? Um, you know, frankly, when we have a variety, and, and this building will process, uh, uh, one of the things will be Shoshone Sandpoint, maybe Delaney Sandpoint this fall, if Corey Foreman continues to uh, take care of business for us. Um, those are varieties that we're the only source. We're the only seed source for foundation seed for those. Um, that comes with a lot of responsibility. We take that very seriously. And, and part of that's out of respect for the people that are gonna buy that seed. Um, if we mess up and have, have uh, you know, seed that, that in our estimation is not perfect, that, that's what we consider it. We consider it a, a mess up. We might still meet foundation seed standards and uh, folks might still buy that seed, but that's not what we're looking for. Um, truly out of respect for the varieties. Some varieties have died because of contamination. Um, they just didn't perform as well, and, and that's the end of it. And then, uh, you know, the folks that buy foundation seed, they'll, they'll blow that seed up. Mike Killen talked earlier about uh, really low seeding rates with breeder seed. That's what you're dealing with, really small quantities of seed. Um, you know, we're lucky to have, uh, you know, if we have a thousand pounds of seed, that's a, that's a lot of breeder seed. So uh, what that is, is that's, that's the foundation for all the other seed production. So the seed producers that buy our foundation seed, um, they don't want to plant a mess. Um, they're going to be trying to keep that field clean so that they can uh, can take that to the next step. So, uh, so obviously, it, it's really important to us. Um, I guess just uh, just in closing, what you'll see here is uh, again we talked about Brett and Mike Killen's help. We did produce two uh, two varieties of oats last year, Palomonida, that we ran through the plant. Um, Mike and I crossed our fingers and hoped we got the design right. Things kind of, uh, you know, water and, and grain still do run downhill if you give them enough slope, and it, it worked in here. Um, Brad May and Keith Schaefer had already been recognized today earlier. Um, they were a big part of this. Mike and I kind of got the, the equipment set up, and uh, Brad and Keith were the ones that ran the mill and uh, got things bagged up. Um, we crossed our fingers, and uh, once we ran that, that seed through the seed, seed lab, um, we did attain perfection, folks. Um, there were big smiles and, and some happy dances. Uh, when it came back, no other crop, no weed seed in it. Um, you know, it's all a process. Quality seed is. And, and being the foundation, or seed certification manager, I can't help but, uh, but pull a plug in for certified seed. Um, just really quick, can my seed certification uh, crew hold their hands up really quick? All right. So they're, they're scattered around here. You'll see them in brown and pink shirts, most of them. 
Um, we actually have a couple of folks who uh, used to inspect seed fields for us. Uh, Bert Trumbull's in the audience, Kerry Stroh's in the audience, so uh, you know, eventually some people do break out of, or at least survive the uh, trials and tribulations of inspecting seed fields. But uh, truly it's a process. Foundation seed goes out to growers, they're going to produce it, seed certification is part of it. Um, so it's, it's all a process that, uh, that gets you folks, for many of you, to the point where you have quality seed to grow commercial crops. So that's what we have behind us with the Foundation Seed Building. Are there any questions?